What is good y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today I am having a Taco Bell uh, mukbang. I was just in the move for Taco Bell. I was driving by, I was running errands and Taco Bell was in the shopping center of uh, where I was running my particular errand. I was like, you know what? Let me check it out. Um, so I got two chicken chalupas here on either side. Um, your standard regular taco right there in the middle. And they had this sign outside that said the nacho fries are back. I never had the nacho fries, so this is the first time me having these. Um, got nacho cheese on the side for these nacho fries. I asked for hot sauce, they gave me mild, whatever. What are you gonna do? Um, let me get my straw. Lost the straw. I'll be good. Found it. Baja Blast. I'm sure everybody, just based on the color, most people know what that is. Uh, so let me put, let me start off with a taco, then I'm gonna try these nacho fries because I am a little bit curious about them. Yeah, I got we chalupa here. I just, I like the, uh, I like the chalupa. I like the, the wrap around it. It's an in between of a hard and soft shell. It's more soft shell, but let me get two. Put two sauces on here, why not? Hope everybody's having a good start to their week, whatever it is you're doing. Having a lovely, lovely week. All right, let's get going here with this chalupa. You know, your standard uh, chicken chalupa. You got your tomato in there, little chicken. I like the chicken one, let's go. Hit the spot, that sour cream. Sour cream, I think, is what puts the chalupa over the top. Taco Bell is just one of those, you gotta be in, it's just a mood type of food, for me at least. Some people might love it every day. I saw, excuse me, I saw it, something got uh, triggered in me. Let's try these nacho fries. Looks like we got like a nacho seasoning on them. Let me get a good bunch here. Dip them in this nacho cheese. Hold on, hold on. We, want, we don't want a taco disaster right here. Hold on. Let's use some physics to hold everything up here. Okay, there we go. Boom. You gonna be okay? I got this. Our tacos aren't falling. Taco Bell said, how can we get in the fry game? Oh, let's just put nachos on. Oh. All these fast food places kind of borrow from one another. Like they all borrow like different little things. Taco Bell typically is a Mexican restaurant, so it wouldn't have fries. How could we bring fries in? Because that's something people go to fast food for. Nacho fries. I believe, and I prob I'm probably wrong about this, but I believe McDonald's had tacos for a brief period. I, I'm 90% sure Burger King did. 
Claro. What a Baja Blast. Perfect with this. Perfect. Whoever did that. Whoever did that testing uh, years ago, whatever, to determine that the Baja Blast is perfect. They were right. It has like a, like a, it's like a sparkling fruit soda, Mountain Dew. It's just a good combination of things. But it's it, it's perfect with Taco Bell. I don't know if I would ever have Baja Blast. Independently, the seasoning on these is good. It get you need the nacho cheese though. You need like the side nacho cheese. All right, let me get this taco right here in a minute. Standard uh, beef taco. Oh, this shell is not looking good. We're going to do our best with her. We're going to do our best. We're not going to give up on this shell yet. It's cracking here in the back, but I've ate enough tacos to know how to handle this type of situation. How to handle a taco that looks like it could be a disaster. Because for me, when I have a sandwich, a taco is basically, it's a, it's a different, it's a different type of sandwich, pretty much. You have a filling or a, my biggest issue with most sandwiches is the falling apart. Like you can have a good center, you can have a good middle, like filling of your, uh, whatever it is. But if stuff falls out and it's all sloppy and I have to like, rearrange myself to hold it i'm good no i don't i don't really care i i want a sandwich that's good and compact and tight but also has good filling in all right all right you see, you see this you see this we're gonna handle that we're gonna handle yeah we're gonna handle that we're gonna start in from that side we're gonna just take away the crunch take away the cracks sorry And go on. Just like that. That's how I work. I make moves. I see a problem, handle it. Now normally I would try to take my time with that taco, but I put that thing down and I try to pick it back up again, it's a risk. I already got it in my hand, I need to finish it. There's no putting that down. The chalupa, right here on the other hand, you know, it holds together. We got some nacho cheese left here, all the fries are gone. So what I'm gonna do is dip that in that nacho cheese. That's what that was my plan, but they don't give you a ton of uh, nacho cheese. So you gotta do with what you can do with here. All right. So we got our sauce in there, boom. But what we're gonna do here is get a little bit of the nacho cheese involved right there on the end. Mm. Mm. That's the way to go, kid. That's the way to go. Oh, excuse me. 
Now the trick is getting it in there in this small little cup. Mm. Baja Blast with Taco Bell. I'm weird with Mountain Dew growing up. It was like, you know, like a lot of people know I like soda. Um, but I don't know, Mountain Dew is one that never hit me. The regular Mountain Dew. When the Code Red came out, I was all in on Code Red. I loved Code Red. I don't know if it was, like, it's, I don't know. I just liked it. I liked Code Red. And then it kind of went away. And then I found out about the Baja Blast at... Uh, Taco Bell. Now I, I went to the Royal Farms or whatever, and they got all these different. It's like a watermelon type of Mountain Dew. Mountain Dews finally decided we need to mix up the flavors other than the standard Mountain Dew flavor. The regular one never really did it for me. I don't. I don't know. It was okay. I don't know. My, my, me and my friends like this stuff like that, but just like me, one of my favorites is Dr Pepper. Some people really don't like Dr Pepper. Some people say, say it tastes like cough medicine. Which I kind of get the argument for. I, I, I you know, I kind of get it, but. Mm. I got this last sauce. Might as well use it. Load up that last little bit. Let's dive in. Yeah, man, like, oh no, that it's just, it's just so, some drinks just hit perfectly with certain, with certain foods. Like, when you're having, like, wings, cheesesteak, like, beer is, in my opinion, the way to go. Hot dogs, stuff like, 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 cookout type food. Um, beer is the way to go. Pizza, like, just your standard uh, either Sprite or like Pepsi, whatever goes, uh, burgers, um, um, burgers is good beer uh, is probably the best, but also like a good cherry Coke, vanilla Coke goes good with them. Nothing. And then uh, this is like, like, cause I, I go to the, uh, there's a taco stand I've, I've eaten on here from called Rivera Taco and they sell these things called, uh, Haritos, um, like it's like a Mexican soda. Which is reminds me of the Baja Blast. So I feel like it's kind of their way of saying, even though we're kind of an American restaurant that's serving Mexican food, we need to get a Mexican soda involved. So the Baja Blast was their answer to that. It looks cool too, right? Like, like, uh, like a neon green. Something just go perfect with other things. Like Chinese food, like what, what Chinese food is like soda. 
I mean, but here's the thing. Water, water is the consistent throughout. So I don't want to disparage water in this drink combination with food conversation. But water goes everything. And that's what we should be having. But, you know, who doesn't want a little flavor in their drink? Who doesn't want to drink their calories? I sure do. I need to. Actually, I have been upping my water intake. So, you know, I'm, I'm on the right path. I'm on the right path. Let me have a little bit more of this. Ooh. Nice little lunch after a lovely, excuse me, weekend. And it's here to hang out with you guys for a little bit. We're closing out the end of uh, the month of March and it still feels like February outside. It still feels like winter. Just, I'm over it. Feels like it's gonna be ice, ice cold on Easter. Oh man, guys, thank you for joining me today. I greatly, uh, greatly appreciate your time spending a few minutes with me. I hope y'all have a uh, great week, rest of your day. Take care, be well. I'll see y'all soon.